Tajikistan is one of the poorest countries in Central Asia. And MDR-TB is quite a severe problem. Until our project started, there was no treatment for MDR-TB for children. And the treatment for adults was only in some areas of the country. The main difficulties in trying to treat DRTB with children is that the drugs that are available at the moment are designed mostly for adults. An adult's prescription is a handful of medicine every day. We have children who are three years old having to take seven or eight tablets every day, plus an injection. The family are the ones that have to coerce their children every day to take these medications. Sometimes this is through a form of bribery, sometimes it's through force. This puts huge stress on the family and the child. For some people the side effects are a big problem and the treatment has to be taken for at least 18 months. Negotiating with a child to take medications that makes them feel more sick is very difficult especially when they have to take that medication for such a long period of time. I was going to say, how has it changed since you got sick? So she likes to draw, to write, but as she doesn't have enough energy, so she can't do it, she's just not able. <laughs> and at the moment you're not going to school? Yeah, when teacher said that you are not allowed to come to school, she just got upset and cried. Tuberculosis is a scary disease to a lot of people. There's a lot of different beliefs whether the disease will ever leave your body, even after you've had treatment. Especially when you have young girls, it, it creates a stigma around whether they can get married or not later. The families will do everything they can to not tell other people about the disease. And of course, to then try and treat this disease for a year and a half as a minimum, without anyone in the family or, or friends knowing, it's really difficult. We have a 13-year-old boy whose mother and brother have both died of MDR-TB. This was just as our project had started. Had the treatment been in place much earlier, then it's possible that his 10-year-old brother wouldn't have needed to die. People will stop taking the treatment because this treatment is so complicated and it causes so many problems. This is just day four. Mm -hmm. There will be many more, hundreds of days, mm -hmm. before this is finished. He will fully recover. We talked about this last time. I cannot promise that. But I can say that do it, what he's doing now is the best thing that is possible to do. Mm. Yeah. You know, we, we understand it's difficult to do this for so long, but really we have no idea how difficult it really is. Until you have to take it yourself, you cannot know. My dream for the treatment of drug-resistant tuberculosis would be for it to be a much shorter period of time, absolutely. Also, a lot less medications needing to be taken. We need to have tablets available that are designed for children. If the treatment continues as it is at such a long period of time, more drug resistance will develop. We need to stop this from happening.